Hi, I'm Yuval Atzmon. I will tell you about our Zero Shot Learning paper. Zero Shot Learning is about recognizing new classes without observing any training examples for those classes. The only information available for the unseen test classes is a semantic description. For example, let me tell you that a jackalope is a rabbit that has horns. Would you be able to spot a jackalope? Although you have never seen a jackalope, you could easily recognize one. In the general zero-shot learning setup on training, we have a set of labeled samples, and each class is provided with a semantic description, like stark wing or brown head. We train a deep description prediction model to make an intermediate representation that decomposes an image into basic building blocks. The last part maps the predicted description to class by matching the intermediate description of the image with the class description provided by raters. On test time, we get a set of image samples from unseen classes. Each class comes with a semantic description. Our goal is to predict the class for each sample. First, we transfer the description prediction network. Then we map the predicted descriptions to test classes by matching them with the new class description provided by raters. For semantic descriptions, we use a set of predefined binary attributes. For example, the first attribute indicates whether or not a wing has a solid pattern. A class is described by attribute occurrence probability by averaging across raters. Now, the trick is in how to map attribute combinations to classes. One common way is to take a flat approach that treats all attributes equally. But such models ignore complex interactions between groups. On the other hand, we can learn a rich model that accounts for the complex interactions. But fitting such a model requires a lot of training data. We take an intermediate approach. We impose a simple two-layer structure that is natural for this type of data and is easy to learn. Our structure captures and all logical relations among groups of attributes. For example, this wobbler can be distinguished by a combination of olive green wings, gray blue head, and pink feet. These attributes are semantically related and naturally cluster into corresponding groups, like the group of various wing colors in this example. In addition, humans or machines may confuse similar attributes because a perceptual property may be mapped to several attributes. For example, the wing color of this wobbler is described as either olive or green. Therefore, the structure we propose joins attributes to groups and applies an O relation within groups. Then, for combining the groups, it is natural to apply an end, since the class is often recognized by its necessary properties. Notice that the last two steps yield a simple and or description for a class that appears natural for this type of data. Our model takes a softer approach, replacing the hard O by weighted sum and the hard N by a product of probabilities. Also note that the soft models assign a zero weight for relevant attributes in a group, like the red wing in this example. Let's dive into the details of our model. We call it LAGO. For reference, we remind the general model. In LAGO, the intermediate description is based on attribute. The description model indicates how likely each attribute is seen in an image. We take the attributes of a group, let's say the head color, and produce a score for class number one based on a soft OR. The soft OR is a weighted sum. Each attribute has a weight coming from the class description and a prediction score coming from the image. We repeat for the next group until the last group with the same class. We replicate the last procedure for all the other classes, each class with its own description. Finally, to predict each class score, we use a soft end by multiplying the weighted sums coming from each group, and we repeat that for all the classes. LAGO can also learn the groups from data by adding a model weight that indicates group membership. In our paper, we describe our experiments on three de benchmark datasets. CAB for fine-grained bed recognition, AWA2 for animal recognition, and SAN for visual scenes. We describe results about learning the groups from data or using semantic knowledge about groups. Finally, for evaluating the model accuracy, 
we use the validation set to choose the best model variant and tested LAGO on the test set. LAGO outperforms previous baselines on CAB and AWA by a significant margin. On Sun, LAGO loses by a small margin. Now, before we leave, we'd like to invite you to read our paper. We'll find a detailed derivation of our soft and O model under a Bayesian framework, additional very interesting results, and qualitative examples about the effects of LAGO. Thank you for your interest. Look for our paper code in this website.